So the word defibrillator for today, where we're going to trust God from, for a word from within the word. And it's going to be First Chronicles, and it's 29, verse 11. I'm going to take it back one more and two more. Uh, then the people rejoice. Verse 9 in the Amplified. Then the people rejoice because these had given willingly for with a whole and blameless heart they had offered freely to the Lord. King David also rejoiced greatly. Therefore David blessed the Lord before all the assembly and said, Try this. I want you guys to try this. Just let this come from your heart. Be praised, adored, and thanked, O Lord, the God of Israel, our forefather, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heavens. And the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord. And yours it is to be exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you. And you reign over all. In your hands are power and might. In your hands it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. And those attributes which that name denotes. How nice is that? How nice is that? What have you got to be grateful for today? Do you have anything to be grateful for? Think about it. doesn't matter where you are, how upset you are, how angry, how lonely, how much you want to give up. Just remember his greatness, and his power. If you have nothing to be grateful for, is to understand this. Your very existence, the fact that you and I have made it so far, would not have happened if it wasn't for him. All your riches, all your honor, come from him. He reigns over everything. He is in total and absolute control. Whether we believe it or not, it is so. Just think about it. Heavenly Father, we are so, so grateful. And as David's father, I can't even, sometimes it's difficult for me to be even, to say, to bless the Lord. For me, Father, that's like, am I, I, I don't know, am I worthy enough? To even, what can I, what can I give God who has everything? The creator of the universe, what can I give you? What is it that you don't have that I could possibly give you? And that song comes to mind, Father, is, Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Father, today, I give myself up as a personal offering to you. I know that is one thing, Father, that you cannot get is our free will to honor and to praise you. That willingness of heart, that willingness of spirit to say, Lord, I am yours. What is it you have me do? That whole point in our life where we sit and we say, Father, have your way. May your will be done in my life. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness, the power, and the glory, and the victory, and the majesty for all that is in the heavens. And the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord, and yours is to be exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you reign over all. In your hands are power and might. In your hands it is to make great and to give strength to all. Therefore, God... I thank you and praise your glorious name and those attributes which your name denotes. I thank you for this. I thank you for you in Jesus' name. Amen.